All right, G7s, here's the second part of our uh, number sense factors uh, on factor trees. Uh, the last video, we looked at just the number 24 and wanted to have another chance to look at maybe a different number. Okay, And remember that factor trees are useful for finding products of primes, Okay, using only prime numbers to multiply and find out the building blocks of a given number. Okay. So the blocks being the prime numbers, and uh, we looked at what was a factor tree. Let's, let's look at 54. Okay? Yesterday was 24. We'll try 54 for this video. Um, 54, pick a couple numbers that you can multiply to get 54. You could try to start with a prime number, 2 times, in this case, 27. You don't have to, but you could. 2 times 27. 2 won't break down any further, but 27 will break down into 3 times 9, and 9 will break down into 3 times 3. So in this case, we've identified a different set of prime numbers uh, that when I rearrange them, uh, gives me a different answer. 2 times 3 is 6, uh, 6 times 3 is 18, and 18 times 3 is 54. That is my product of primes, 54 being the product of these prime numbers when I multiply them together. So 54 has a different set of building blocks than 24. Okay? This has two and then three threes. Each number that's not a prime number will have a unique set of product of primes, almost like it's instructions for building it, its own code that's made up of prime numbers. Um, and again, just as another practice, you don't have to start with the prime number of 2. You could do 6 times 9, break down your 6 into uh, 2 times 3, and 9 into 3 times 3, and we end up with those same codes. So it doesn't matter which path you use to get there, um, it's going to give you the same product of primes. Now, that product of primes is one way of doing it. Factor trees are just one way, but there is another way that may be more uh, easy to understand for some of you. Some of you may prefer factor trees. Neither one is more right than the other. It's okay to have uh, whichever one you want to use, uh, so it's up to you. But an example would be, remember how we created uh, that ladder to find the products or to find the factors earlier, we can do a similar thing with 54. And what I would want to think about is, is there a prime number? Start with the first prime number of 2 and say, does 2 go into 54? If it does, we're going to write 2 outside of this little, uh, almost like a little division. It's not quite division. Um, but we write 2 and then 54 divided by 2 leaves me 27. And then what I'm going to do is ask myself, does 2 go into 27 again? If it does not, then I go to the next prime number, 3. Does 3 go into 27? And the answer is yes, it does. So I'm going to write 3 and divide 27 by 3, which leaves me with 9. I then ask myself again, does 3 go a second time in? And it does, which leaves me with 3. And does 3 go into 3? Uh, yes, it does. And I do this until I get all the way down to the number 1. When I reach 1, I know that I'm done, and I have identified that product of primes. We can see it going down there. 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. That's my product of primes. You can use what I call the ladder method. I think it looks a little bit like a ladder. Uh, as a shortcut. Either way works, factor trees or the ladders, up to you as long as you can show your work and explain how you got the product of primes that you did. Up to you, you choose.